Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks, doing a little box opening. I got two of the blaster boxes of Topps Heritage Baseball 2024. Uh, each box comes with 72 cards, eight packs, nine cards uh, per pack. Uh, be on the lookout for the 1975 Topps Baseball Sensations Platinum Foil Boards and the 1975 Zoos Who Stick on Reds. Um, I think those are the uh, the animal uh, nickname cards that uh, I've seen on um, social media so far. But uh, uh, Heritage, if you're not familiar with it, is a 500 card base set. 100 cards are short printed, and then the other 400 cards are very easy easy to be obtained. Um, basically, with the short printed cards, you get one in every three packs, and they changed it this year, which I found out when we did the hanger box video and uh the value pack video uh to get you know we did the uh that video yesterday um which also too if you haven't seen that video we had a huge rookie auto pull um out of that um didn't realize that the short printed cards are actually numbered one to 100 usually the short printed cards are numbered uh 401 to 500 in the last few years to my knowledge at least so um so anyway, with that, let's get into it. Let's see what we get. Um, obviously, chasing some of the you know the rookies from this year, um, and just kind of you know get an overall look on how the retail looks this year. This product. So we got Javier Bias, Michael Rucker, Hunter Goodman, rookie, Christopher Morel, Conforto, then we got Herbre, Whitey Herzog, then we got Baseball Flashbacks, uh, one of the insert cards, Aaron. Breaks Ruth RBI uh, record, excuse me, and then Robbie Grossman. And one thing I noticed too in the hanger box, especially, that the hits were actually like the last cards of the pack, which was a little odd in my opinion. But uh, we got 20, uh, 2012 Most Valued Players Miguel Cabrera and Buster Posey, Yan Makata, uh, Jordan Westberg, rookie, Edgar Navarro, Mount Castle. We got Bobby Witt, Mike Yastrzemski. We got a backwards card. So I guess the, okay, so the backwards card. So as you can see, the, the card number is 58. So I guess the short prints, they do put backwards this year, which I don't, I don't remember if they've done that in the past. And then Jason DeLay. Um, I know some of the variations and stuff. I know there was times where, you know, if you get those in hobby boxes, I believe those were backwards at times, but um I don't recall them being back, uh, the short prints at least, being backwards. They might have been, though, but I just don't remember off the top of my head. But uh, we got Chris Bryant, Emmett Sheehan, Zach Wheeler, Nico Horner, Davis Snyder. Then we got World Series uh, from Game 3, where Texas won 3-1. to one. Jose Farah. And then we got World Series, that would be Game 5, where Texas won 5 nothing. And then Joey Wendell. And of course, too, like in the retail, not every pack is going to have an insert. Sometimes you will, you will get packs, especially with this product, where it's literally all base cards. Uh, we got Jose Abreu, Trey Cabbage, Kershaw, Glaber Torres, uh, Prelander Barrello, Joey Votto, Manuel Clausé. Then we got New Age Performers, Austin Riley, insert. And Jordan Romano. So nothing too, too crazy so far. We got Jose Altuve, Yanni Diaz, Dominic Canzone, Jazz Chisholm, Yoshida, Forrest Wall. Then we got Earn Run Average Leaders, Snell and Cole. Another short print. We got Francisco Mejia and Devin Williams. So we, like I said, we should get, should get at least two short prints, maybe three. Uh, what we got here? We got strikeout leaders, Kevin Gossman, Spencer Strider. Shame to see uh, Strider out for the year. We got Adley Rutschman, Logan Webb, Jose Rodriguez. Runs bad in leaders, Tucker and Olsen. Bryce Harper, Acuna. Then we got Alex Manoa and Cal Raleigh. See what we get next pack. We got Justin Martinez, Dick Williams, Ozzy Alves, Johnny DeLuca, 
Uh, we got the NL Champions, Game 7 NLCS, 3 hit, 2 stolen base Knight to lead D-backs to the pennant for Corbin Carroll. Samad Taylor, we got Machado, then we got Then and Now Insert, Jim Palmer, Blake Snell, and Tanner Beebe. And all right, let's see what we get last pack of the first blaster. Really nothing really crazy out of this one at all. We got Michael Harris, TJ Friedel, Mason Wynn, rookie. We got Juan Soto in his Yankee uniform, Anthony Volpe, Charlie Morton. Then we got Tom Seaver uh, insert. We got Isak Paredes which is a short print, and Brady Singer. And just kind of curiosity. All right, yeah, they're a little more numbered. I thought they were actually more closer in numbers um, where the, there was like a correlation like that. But all right, nothing too, too crazy. So let's see what we get next box. Um, I mean, like I said, if you didn't see the video I posted yesterday, we had a really nice rookie auto pool. So um, even if these two blasters aren't the best, that auto definitely made up for for basically whatever I opened in these two videos. So uh, very, very happy with that auto. But uh, Jared Trillo, then we got NL Champions for the Rangers with Merrifield. Uh, 1967 most valuable player. We got uh, Yastrzemski and Cepeda. Freddie Freeman. We got Samad Taylor again. Manny Machado. New Age Performers. Tatis. And Patrick Bailey. I don't know why, but I feel like those New Age Performers should be players that haven't quite been in the league quite as long. Tatis, I know he's been in the league now, what, four years? Five Maybe it's fifth year, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, we got Corbin Carroll, Bobby Miller, DeLuca, uh, De La Cruz, excuse me, De La Cruz, excuse me, Brandon Marsh, Charlie Morton, Rafaela, okay. Oh, and actually behind that, we do get, all right, so we get one of those uh, uh, inserts that I was talking about. Uh, we got the crime dog, Fred McGriff. It's actually kind of cool. Um, eh, it's something different. I like it. Uh, we got Andrew Bellotti. Philly sh short print. Screwball to finish off that pack. I know a lot of people, I saw a lot of people on social media, they're posting pictures of those cards and being like, what the heck is this? Uh, regarding the uh, the animal nicknames, but uh, I don't know. I, I think it's, it's different. It's kind of cool. Uh, we got Robert Garcia, Red Schoenheist, Libertor, Luis Matos. Uh, what we got here? 1999 Most Valuable Players. We got Pudge and Chipper, Nick Allen, Francisco Alvarez, Lars Newtbar, and we got leading firemen, Classe and David Bednar. Is that for saves? Actually, it's saves and relief wins, actually, and there's a point system for a total of each. So, okay. I, think it was, I couldn't remember exactly what it was. I think it was something on that, like that. We got Dominic Fletcher, Marte, Tyler Soderstrom. We got 2009 Most Valuable Players, Pujols and Maurer. Then we got Therese Hoskins, Spencer Steer. We got Jordan Romano, which uh, is that one of those? Yeah, that's the old white border, which I'll be honest with you, I wasn't really paying too close of attention if we got another one. Uh, out of that first box, uh, baseball flashbacks, 2,500 career hit for Lou Brock and Asabe for the Blue Jays. Did he get moved? I'll be honest with you. I can't remember if he got moved or not. He's just one of those names that I just don't remember if, uh, seeing if he got, uh, traded or anything or 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 even just uh dfa'd and then picked up um but we got salvador perez kyle bradish nolan chanel we got walker bueller sal frillick starling Marte, nick gonzalez rookie and we got stanton 
Stanton Rarified Home Run Milestone. 23 highlights, 400th career home run, which is one of the short prints. And then Clark Schmidt. We got Brian Bellow, uh, Hassan Kim, Austin Meadows, and we got 2015 Most Valuable Players, Josh Donaldson, Bryce Harper, we got Pete Alonzo, Alec Thomas, Kyrene Paris, Andy Rodriguez, okay, and Bryce Miller. So, all right, two packs left. It'll be nice if we can just get a little something. All right, well, we got the base Ellie De La Cruz, so, okay, that works. Uh, we got 1997 Most Valuable Players, Larry Walker, Ken Griffey Jr., Wade Meckler, Ezekiel Tovar, Spencer Torkelson, Zach Neto, Zach Giloff, then we got New Age Performers, uh, Lindor. Yeah, like I said, I... I know Lindor has been in the league a lot longer than Tatis, but uh, I, don't, I felt like these were always more kind of like rookies, second, maybe like third year players. But um, I always thought that insert was kind of more targeted toward them. And then Tyler Rogers to finish off that pack. But uh, I could be mistaken. So, all right, let's see what we get. Last pack. I mean, we did okay with a lot of the different rookies. Um, but we got Gonsolin, Curtis Mead, we got Pete Crow Armstrong, guy I'm high on. Really still disappointed that the Mets traded him away. Uh, we got Lawrence Butler, rookie. Nolan Gorman. Then we got 2019 Most Valuable Players, Trout and Bellinger. Then we got Joe Morgan. And then we got one more short print, Tommy Henry. And Corey Lee then to finish off that box. So, I mean, overall, not horrible. Could have been a little better. Um, I mean, realistically, too, with what we pulled out of our, uh, our video opening that we did last week, honestly, I didn't really care too much if we didn't really hit anything big out of this one because even with the uh, what we pulled, I was very happy with that. And... Um, but I mean, oh, you know, I mean, overall we did pull, you know, some of the base rookies. I mean, this is one of those sets that I always kind of, I don't know, I'm te always tempted to piece together, but I just never really bother, especially with chasing down all the short prints, the short prints. I know a lot of them aren't, you know, they're not really crazy expensive. I know they are short printed, but I mean, especially when I'm one of those people that usually does open up a bunch of boxes and packs and such, you know, I want to try to piece together more of that set usually. But anyway, uh, like I said, Pretty much, pretty much is what you would expect out of, you know, two blaster boxes, in my opinion. Uh, you know, a few short prints. Maybe you get lucky with a relic or an autograph or something like that. Uh, like I said, I know we got one parallel of the all-white borders. Uh, and like I said, I really wasn't paying attention too close in that first box. If we did pull another one, I'll have to go back and double check that. Um, I know we did pull two of them in the video that we did yesterday as well. So they are pretty common. Um, but anyway, let me know in the comments what you guys think about Heritage this year. Do you like it? Do you don't like it? Um, are you opening up some hobby boxes? You just opening up some of the retail? I always like to hear your guys' opinions on a lot of these products. Um, you know, see if you like it or you don't. Um, I'm kind of, I don't know. I'm like middle of the road with Heritage this year for some reason. Um, but I mean, definitely I'll probably be opening up a little bit more on the channel. Uh, we will be doing a break of this as well. Uh, probably do another break as well, you know, probably do at least two breaks of this most likely and uh, You know, we'll see from there. So but like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys think about it If you liked the video greatly appreciate it with a like and leave any comments on heritage like I said and uh, with that Appreciate you guys and we'll see you guys next time. Take care everybody